Richard, thanks for coming. Glad to be here. Now your email said something about a kitchen faucet. This must be it. This is it. All right, so what's cooking? What's going on? Well, if you turn it on there, you'll see that we've got a leak. The water comes up and out uh, through the bottom of the faucet a there. A little bit there from the spout, yeah. Uh -huh. Then it runs down, goes down the hose, drips on the floor. It's a major problem. I mean, I could probably repair that. Well, the real issue is my wife doesn't like this faucet. She'd like a replacement. I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> you right. see, it's not terribly aesthetically pleasing. It's a little bit small. The sprayer, it doesn't exactly reach all the way over yeah, here. Yeah, fight a little bit. Exactly. It doesn't right. match. So you have a new style in mind? Does your wife have a new style in mind? <laughs> <laughs> she does. She would like something a little bit bigger, maybe matches uh, the room a little bit better, um, a single handle. With a single control? Yeah. All right. Well, I bet you we can find your new faucet. Excellent. But let's start by getting rid of the old one. Now, there are two shutoffs, hot and cold, underneath. Turn them clockwise. There's one. And hot's on the left. <laughs> Okay, so water is off. Now I need to break those connections underneath the sink. Now, there are connections at the very top for the hot and the cold right here. And the nuts are up pretty far, so a traditional plier like this, it's really difficult to get up inside there. So what they make is a special tool called a basin wrench. The wrench has a spring-loaded jaw and it can either loosen or tighten. I can flip the jar over this way. So now to loosen it, you get it on here. This is the perfect tool for this. It's the same on the other side. When I get this last nut off, the faucet itself will be released from the sink. I'm gonna push up this spray hose. You see it right there? Yeah. Now loosen the bottom big black nut from the spray head. Got it? You should see a little C-clip on the side. Do you see it? Yeah, there it is. Little retainer clip. Just pry that out with a small screwdriver or something. Okay, it's coming off. All right, you got the clip out? Clips out. Just pull the base off of the hose. Pull right. straight up. It's off. Now I'll take the hose down here and dump out the remaining water. It's all yours. And now pull that faucet straight up and up. Okay. Take the hose. Good. All right, Chris, here is the new faucet. What do you think? That's fantastic. More importantly, what do you think the committee's going to say? My wife will love it. Good. Single lever control right here. Look at this, a pull-out spray hose right here that's integral to that spout. They make a nice plate, good and heavy, to cover up the unused holes right there. OK, now that the sprayer is on the faucet, what do we do about this fourth hole? Oh, they make a perfect soap dispenser right here. Great. That'll be handy for hand soap or dishwashing liquid. All right, but this faucet has got a lot to it. See these little black dots right here? Yeah. These are motion sensors. This is actually a hands-free faucet. Let me show you how it works. So your old faucet was pretty straightforward. It had a hot line and a cold line from those shutoffs, came up to the faucet. When you open the handles here, it would mix right here, go out through the spout or down through the spray hose. Well, there's a lot more going on with this faucet. Between the faucet and the shutoff valves, we're going to install this. It's a control box. Here's the connections that go down to the hot and cold shutoff valves. And this actually acts as a junction box and a bypass. And the connections are so simple. Push fit connections. They're all numerically coded. There's one. This is three. And there's two. So in normal mode, this is just a junction box. Hot and cold come right to here. And now we come up to this control point now that you say, I want hot, I want cold. But the water doesn't go right out through the spray hose. It actually would come back through this third line, this return line right here. And it would pass right through this control box, down through this hose. Now there's one more hose connection to make, and that's this one. And this carries up to that pull down spray hose. Right? So that's normal mode. Are you dizzy yet? It's a little All confusing. Right. Hot and cold right here, up to the handle control, back down through, all the way back around to the spray hose. But there's also this, the hands-free. So once we plug this in and we have a battery pack to power it, now when you swipe your hand by the motion sensor, it'll bring on the water through this uh, pull-down spray hose. So how do you control the temperature? 
Well, actually, you set the temperature right here, and that would control the mix right at this point, and then it would leave through this hose to go right out through that spray hose. We want to have a watertight seal between the faucet and the sink. We don't want anything getting down like it did before. So here's our plate. Now, in the old days, we would have used plumber's putty right here to make a seal, but nowadays, they have a gasket pre-made with a nice soft rubber seal right here. They also make one for that single hole mount as well. So we'll put that right here. And I'm going to go underneath. I want you to pass these hoses okay. right down through that hole, OK? All right, our connections down here starts with this support bar. And that slides all the way up right there. OK, next is this mounting washer. And that's designed to let the tubes and the data cable stay out of the way and go right over that shank right there. And then there's a nut. This is a tight spot, which normally we would always try to use our basin wrench, but the faucet actually comes with a special wrench made just for this reason that'll fit up and make that nut tight. Look at that. Okay, is that uh, straight right now? Everything look good up there, Chris? Looks good. Okay. Good. So that's tightened up. So now, why don't you pass me the top portion of the soap dispenser down through the hole. All right, Chris, just pass me that spray hose hose down through the spot, would you? There you go. Okay. Now grab that control box. And why don't you jump down here and get it mounted on the side of our cabinet, okay? That cabinet big enough for you? <laughs> it's a little tight in here, isn't it? While you're down there, let's make up the power and data connections. So on the spray hose right here that's attached to the spray head, they provide a weight. They give a mark to tell you where to put it and a snap connector. And now you can see with the weight, it will help to pull that spray head right up into the spout. All right, water's coming on. Here comes the hot, cold. OK, so water is back on. Batteries are in. Chris, why don't you give it a try? Just wave your hands anywhere. All right, so that sensor will stay on until you come back in. That's so you could fill a, a coffee pot or something like that. But put your hands underneath the spout. Isn't that cool? That is excellent. That should shut off. You want to go all retro? You can go hot cold, the old-fashioned way, but I think you'll do it the other way now. <laughs>